Have you ever stopped to think about the difference that sounds make in a game? Check out this clip. Without sound... And now with sounds. It's not the best thing in the world, but it takes the game to a new level. So in this video I will show how I did to put the sounds in my Pi game Raycasting game. The sounds can be divided in two types, effects and music. First, the special effects are used to indicate actions. For example, the sound of a sword being swung in the air. I will add sound effects both for the enemies and the player, of footsteps when they are moving, when they receive damage from attacks and when they die. And just for the player, I will add the effects of when he uses his sword, when his health regenerates and when he wins the game. And now for the music. The music has the function to give mood to the game. For example, it indicates if the player can relax, when he is in danger or when he is in a battle. Ideally, using several songs for different situations and places. But in my game, for now I will only use one song that will be in an infinite loop, so it's easier for now. And how do you get all those sounds? The most direct way is recording, simulating the sounds of special effects, the technique called Foley. And if you have talent, you can even create and record your own songs. But this is a lot of work. I tried to record some Follies, but songs, no way. So the second option I looked into was libraries with audio resources, like opengameart.org, where there's a lot of stuff available, not just for sounds. Another interesting option to create sound effects is this little program called SFXR and its variations. It is used a lot in game jams, and it creates sounds programmatically for different sound effects very easily. Now for music. If playing instruments is not your thing, you can use programs called trackers. I used here the one called Bosca Kjell. Very easy to use, I even risked making the game music with it. But even if this option is too difficult, there is the option to use the program CG Music, which creates random music. The program is kind of old, but it has some interesting results. But to get it to run, I had to look for some DLLs on the internet. Well, after you get the sounds and songs, we can start putting everything in the game. First of all, we need to initialize the Pygame Mixer with the command pygame.mixer.init. Now I will create a function to load the sounds. Pygame accepts three types of audio formats, WAV, AUG and MP3. To load the sound, we use the function mixer.sound and use the path to the file as the argument. So we do this for all the sounds. The music I will start playing right after loading, but first I will lower its volume. We can set here volumes from 0 to 1. So to play it in an infinite loop, I just need to put a dot play in the end with an argument on how many times the sound should repeat. Minus 1 is to repeat indefinitely, 0 plays it only once, which is the same as no argument, 1 repeats it once, 2 repeats it twice and so on. I will also play once the victor noise to indicate that the game has started. After returning the sounds, we just have to play them every time something relevant happens. I will start with one of the most annoying ones, which is the sound of footsteps. For that I will create a variable that controls the delay between the footsteps noises, and also a second variable to control if there was a change in the player's position, which is simply the sum of the player's x and y coordinates. Then in each frame I will check if the delay has passed and if there was a change in the player's position to play the footsteps noise and update the delay. Regardless of that, I will always update the position variable. I will create a second variable to control the delay between enemy steps. As they are always moving, I don't need to control their position. I just need to know if there's any close to the player. For that I will use the enemies map. So I just have to return it from the artificial intelligence function from the last video. To make things more interesting, I made the step frequency increase when there are more enemies around and also added a bit of randomness. The sword sound is very simple, every time it is activated the sound plays. 
and if I manage to kill a monster, I will play the monster death sound. As I also have here the chance to recover health, when that happens I will also play a sound. I will also play a sound every time I hit an enemy, depending on the monster type. For that I will create a variable to keep the index of the closest enemy. If the index changes, it means that at least one monster suffered damage, then I will play the respective sound. When an enemy attacks the player, he loses health, so I will keep the health value in a variable and check if it changes after the artificial intelligence part. And to finish, I will add the victory and defeat effects, here in the part where I check if the player left the map or if he has no more health. I also added a fade out here before ending the game with a pause, so it wouldn't stop abruptly. And I think that was it. In the end, the sound effects I use here were a mix. Some I got from Open Game Art, others from SFXR, but a good part of them I recorded follies myself. The music I made in Busca Kiel. I really like this tool, since it solves my main difficulty with music, the sense of rhythm, so I will try to create more sounds with it. In the next video I will take care of the game's interface. I will add a startup screen, UI, menus and stuff like that. The codes are already available on my GitHub. Thanks for watching and I see you in the next video.